I think she's going to replace Dr. Ruth. Oh. Oh, this Latin teacher with all those sexual terms, it makes me horny. Hi, you're cute. Hi. Hi. Uh, uh, how are you? Who are you here? Who are you here? Are you um, nephews? I thought you were his sister. Oh, my God. Are you married? No. Oh, yes. She doesn't, she forgot she was married, okay? Did you forget when your husband put his dick in your mouth? Oh, no. Watch out! Yes. Oh, she's in a massage, watch out. She's watch cute, out. very pretty. Okay, I'm glad, I, I like to bring up people that I sort of mentored, and I see them get better and better, and I've seen this guy not only get funny, but thinner and thinner and thinner. I mean, I, every time I see him, and it's really working. He's a funny guy, he's got twins, and he's really, I like him a lot. So let's welcome very funny, uh, my friend, Hakeem Kerr. Hakeem! 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 First off, I want to thank everyone in the front row for not moving your seats back when I got on stage. It really means a lot to me. I know I'm a big, imposing dude, like a bouncer or Suge Knight or a homework enforcer. Now, homework of course is when uh, rich parents in the Hamptons have kids that don't want to do their homework, they hire me. <laughs> and you best believe when I come in their room, they're going to do their homework. <laughs> but I'm having problems in my own household with my kids, the twins Gladys talked about, my eight-year-old little twins, uh, because of my size for some strange reason. They think my parents is a care bear and a gummy bear. <laughs> they had a baby, which was me, a care gummy bear, mm -hmm. a giant one. Even though they know that their grandparents are real human people, they think that their grandparents adopted me from the care bear and gummy bear because I used to wear big colorful shirts, mm -hmm. right? But there's one color I can never or dare not wear around them, and that's purple. Yeah. <laughs> because if I wear purple, as big as I am, they'll pretty much know what they think I am. Yeah. Barney the dinosaur. <laughs> ah. All right? And it's like a nightmare singing that I love you song <laughs> all the time, every time, endless. endless. So it's needless to say, they don't take me seriously. They're not intimidated by me at all. No. But also, adults think I can morph into their favorite characters because of the way I look. I can't stand on 42nd Street, Times Square, for long in one spot because German tourists love the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Ah. They come to me with their cameras. Oh, Uncle Phil, shall we take a picture together and then go have some Hagen Dots? My treat? I'm like saying, where are you from? Huh, Frankfurt? <laughs> well, okay. Why do you talk like that with a high pitched voice? Oh, because I eat a lot of rotten cheese from Stockholm? <laughs> I'm saying, yeah, you're right. Um, it smells like it. You're right. <laughs> and millennials are worse than Germans. All right, millennials? Because two of them came up to me while I was on 42nd Street and said, yo! Look, dude, it's Uncle Phil. <laughs> and the other one said, facts. The other one said, yo, I grew up on you. And the other one said, facts. He keeps saying facts. <laughs> and he said, listen, can you do the cartoon dance for me just <laughs> this once? I'm like, what? Yeah, man, please, can you just do the cartoon dance? I mean, it really means a lot to me and my friend. Please. <laughs> well, since you asked. 
Back to back, that's next right. To each other, so clap it up, make some noise for Jerry. 